ages. Welcome back to Ed Hunt. Today, back at the boot fairs, and it's quite a busy one today, actually. It seems like there's quite a few sellers in. It's one I haven't really been to before, so hopefully find a few bits and bobs back today. There's all those pieces was going on, brother. Yes. Try and find some bits. Yeah, boy. It's a really weird setup, isn't it? This is big, but this is the biggest I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Not much, unfortunately. Oh my days. How much are the games? Found each. Oh, that's not in there. Okay, yeah. four core? Yeah, mate. Yeah. How much are the games? About. Found? I'll take that one. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Is it complete? Is it complete? Mm. Fiver. Yeah. What do you reckon? I don't know either. But I know it's popular, that's one thing I do know. Based on the game, isn't it? Yeah, I just don't know if it's complete because it's been opened, isn't it? No. Oh yeah, but the I think the bags are still like yeah. Oh no, they're not. No, no, I'm going to leave it. Thank you. Strapped for £8 on eBay. Yeah. No, nothing there. They made it without the lamp and with the lamp. Seven quid? Yeah, 13 50 in the shop. Ugh, it's all good, mate. It's too much. Cheap. How much? 50. 20 games, mate. Uh, that was three pounds. How much is uh, mischief makers? Uh, those are ten. Do eight? And that one, that one's eight, that one's ten. Do eight on that one? How much on BR Troopers? Fifteen.
I want to show them Kiss Pinball. This is a great find. How much was that? Um, um, that's right. That's a that's a really good find. That's, yeah, that's nice, money, man. man. That's good. Right, back with Pizarro's pieces and going for his pickups. So what have we got Not here? Not a lot, mate. Not a lot. How much was that? A pound. Nice. Um, I want to say maybe seventies. Pink Panther like shampoo bottles or. Oh, it's got a pink lady bath. apple. Yeah, it's uh, like Australian, so I don't know whether these were only. Yeah. But you want to take that stick off first? That's from an apple. Oh, is it? That's from an actual apple, yeah. Ah, oh, I didn't realise. There you go. Look. Pink lady. Oh, from, yeah. After. Oh, yeah, cool shirt, pink lady. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the find of the day for sure. A couple of quid. Yeah. 90s Budweiser racing jacket with all the embroidered. Yeah, and it's nice quality look. as well. Really nice quality. That. Yeah, I like that. So I'll put that in the dry cleaners and it's my size. Nice. And we're back. So, just came back from boot fair with Pizarro's pieces and yeah, managed to get a few bits and bobs today. It wasn't amazing, not gonna lie, but yeah, I don't think I spent even more than like 15, 20 quid to be honest, but saw Pizarro pieces, uh, picked up a few pieces, picked up the pink panthers and that cool looking jacket, a few other bits and bobs as well, and then bumped into my uh, viewer Marco, big up Marco, and uh, yeah, those pilot games that he got for a really good price. Let's start going through my pickups now. And yeah, as I said, it isn't like the most amount of pickups I've got from a booth here, like far from it, but I've got some other bits and bobs to go through as well. So yeah, just start going through it. So first, let's go through some of the games. Some PS3 games, got FIFA Street on PS3. That was a pound. Uh, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Also a pound, obviously that's the Xbox 360 version you want to look out for. We've got Need for Speed Most Wanted on PS3, also for one pound. Uh, we've got Lost on the PlayStation 3 for one pound. Now I just wanted to pick this up, I think it's a pound in, um, in CX as well, but I just thought, how is this actually going to play as a game? Do you know what I mean? So I thought, I actually want to play this, so yeah, Lost on PS3. Now this is from uh, Pizarro's PC, he sort me out a few bits and bobs. This is uh, WWE Attitude Era on Blu-ray. I've actually owned this before, but I traded it in. Uh, but yeah, so he, he said, yeah, I could have this. So it's two disc edition, and yeah, it's really good. Got loads of just the Attitude Era moments on there from like 97 to 2001, so that's cool. And we've got UFC Undisputed 3. This was also a pound that he's trading for three or four pounds. All discs are in pretty good condition as well. Uh, we did manage to get one retro game, and that was uh, Mischief Makers on the 64. Hey man, how's it going? Not bad, not bad. No more cowboy ghosts, right? <laughs> you gotta understand something. I ride the Clancers. I have the answers! Now you would have seen me make an offer of £8 for it and he didn't accept it. Uh, so I did go back and buy the tank. It does sell for 15 in CEX and it's game that I do not have. So I thought I would buy that and add that to the collection. So that's Mischief Makers. Uh, then we've got one more game from uh, Pizarro as well. And that's Samran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Now, so I'm not going to show you the back, but yeah, it's quite a raunchy game. Um, but yeah, it's in there, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of like an FPS, a very interesting FPS. Um, I'll allow you to do your own research on it, but yeah, Sam Rakugura Peach Beach Splash. Great game. Uh, and we've got one more pickup as well. We've got a Far Cry 5 on the PS4, and that was £3, I believe. Actually, no, we do have something else. Uh, we've got these two calculators. Now these calculators are Casio, they are uh, scientific calculators, these are 50p each. Now these trade in for three pounds uh, and they sell for 10 in CEX as well. So it's something to look out for in the future if you're hunting. Um, scientific calculators do trade in at CEX. So just, uh, just look up that basically when you're looking up on the CEX app and that little code there and you'll get to see if it's worth anything. If it's just like a, a normal budget Calculator, chances are it'll be worth nothing, but if it is a Casio scientific calculator, chances are it will be worth something. So yeah, definitely look into buying as many of these calculators as you can if you see them. So, got a couple of uh, pickups from CEX to go through now. Uh, I had a bit of uh, credit, so I thought I'd spend it. Now this is poss possibly the cheapest loose Game Boy game that you can get in CEX, and it's called a Radar Mission. Probably some of you are familiar with it out there. Uh, I am not personally, 
But for one pound, I was not going to say no. So, yeah, I think that must be the cheapest Game Boy car that isn't a sports game that is available in CEX. So, yeah, radar mission. We have Galgun 2 on the Switch, which is kind of similar to uh, Samurai Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Again, I'll let you do your own research on that one. Uh, we've got Spider Man on the Master System. And this is an absolutely fantastic condition. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Like, me. And it was only ten pounds. But I think so, sometimes I think CEX do underprice their their Sega quite a lot. So I'm always looking for some minty Sega when I go into CEX. And yes, yeah, Spider Man it delivered. And then the last game is Global Gladiators on Mega Drive. Now this is a McDonald's sponsored game uh, where you play as uh, I think it's Mick and Mac. And yeah, it's just kind of a platformer, go around like uh, just encountering weird enemies and yeah it's just kind of a really standard kind of uh, mascot platformer however there are some really expensive McDonald's games out there specifically for the Mega Drive as well so if you know about that let me know in the comments and if you do collect these McDonald's games let me know as well because I really do enjoy it I did enjoy this and the other one as well that came out so those are all my pickups from a midweek boot fair uh, if you enjoyed that Hit that like button, consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what you thought was all because I love hearing what you guys hear and I'll always uh, respond. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.